one of your six and welcome to the last maths video for this week. The last maths video for May. <gasps> See you in June. <laughs> Goodness me, I hope it's sunny. Crikey, June should be. Right, we are going to continue <laughs> to describe position and translation of 2D shapes. So here are the answers for yesterday's. Now, don't panic if your answers are slightly different. If you chose a different point to move, your answers will be slightly different. Your translation should always be the same, but your coordinates may be different depending on which point you picked. So check that your translation is correct, and if your translation is correct, then your coordinates are probably going to be. The only thing I want you to check with your coordinate is that you put X and then Y and not Y and then X. Mm. So maybe pick a coordinate of each and just check that you've gone X, Y and not Y, X. But don't panic if your answers are slightly different because if you picked a different point, they will be. So today's fluent at five. Pause the video and have a go. So let's have a look. Number one, three fifths times 50 is 30. 984.32 take away 183.84 is 848. 12% of 40. 800.48, number two. Sorry, 800.48. Getting too carried away, I'm trying to do it quickly. Three, 12% of 40 is 4.8. Number four, 110 divided by 11 is 10. 674 divided by 13 is 51, remainder 11. And 5.6 divided by 0 0.8 is 7. Well done if you got them all correct. So, today's problem. Use these coordinates to draw a shape. So you've got your four quadrant grid here. You've got your y axes and your x axes, they've been marked for you. And then you've been given four coordinates. So you need to plot those carefully onto the grid. Then, over here, it asks you to translate this shape five places to the right. And then it asks you, what are the coordinates as its vertices? So move the shape and then say what its coordinates are. Good luck. I will show you the answers in a moment. Okay, have you done it? I hope so. Right, let's look. So this should be your shape, depending on the coordinates you just plotted. Again, make sure you got the X and Y around the right way or you would have a different shape. If you've got a different shape, check you didn't do that. And then this is our shape translated, five to the right. Your new coordinates, minus one to five, minus one seven, three five, three four, five six, three eight, three seven. You might not have them in that order, depending on where you chose your coordinates, but just tick them off one by one to check them. And well done. See you in June. <laughs> Bye.